the Poplar Square chases next. This is two miles and two furlongs. It's Grade Three. At the top, we've got Cleveland Treasure for Vinnie Gerard, Duffcott Collider for Joshua Sutherland, who's also got Fascination, One Lip, Darren Thompson, Weary Willie, Kevin Meenahan, Ashura Posh, David Robertson, Black Ascoli, Martin Leedham, Carmen, Kevin Meenahan, Lemons Mill, Craig Beckwith, Maycox, Jody, David Robertson, and Time and Eternity for Leon Van Rensburg. So plenty of winners in this field. Should be a competitive handicap. And away they go. And sit themselves down. It looks like Time and Eternity might be the one to take us along with Weary Willie also being drawn up to take a share of the lead and they get to the first of the 13 oh and Weary Willie went straight through the top of that and we've lost him he's gone so Weary Willie made a mistake I thought he'd survived it but he didn't and the jockey is on the deck the horse is galloping on riderless so Weary Willie departs early and Carmen his stable companion leads over to third so the rest of them are all still standing and Carmen leads by about four lengths to Time and Eternity in second. Right on the track is Duffcock Collider, the Shura Posh, and Maycox Jody, the two David Robertson horses running together down on this near side, looking towards the back of the field. Fascination is just the back marker. The pace appears to be pretty hot, and Carmen leads over the fourth. And the rest of them all getting over it nicely. Black Ascoli is just shuffle to the back and this time it was Carmen who went right through the top of it so went for a particularly successful race for Kevin Meenahan so far then with his weary willy on the deck and Carmen looking like she wants to go the same way but racing down towards the next and they pass the stand and they will pass the winning post and they'll swing left handed and out for a full circuit of the track it's a long one to the next fence and Carmen is in the lead by about a head to Maycox Jody is going into second, then Duffcock Collider is third, then right over on the far side on the rail is Time and Eternity, Ashura Posh with that one just in between the two of them is Fascination, then One Lip is on the outside of Black Ascoli who's got the rail, Lemons Mill is after that one and Cleveland Treasure is the new back marker as they take number six, and there's a fall right about Lemons Mill's gone, no, Lemons Mill crashes out as well, that's still looking for there, but Carmen He's in front coming into the seventh. Out jumped by Maycox Jody. So Maycox Jody takes it up then from Carmen in second. They've still got a mile to go. A gap of two or three lengths then to one lip who's in third. Fascination is in fourth. Ashura Posh is next. Then Duffcock Collider as they get over number eight. And they're all safely over the eighth. There's a big ditch. And it's Maycox, Jody, and Carmen from one lip in second. Then Ashura Posh, Time and Eternity. Duffcock Collider is in next. And then comes Cleveland Treasure, Fascination, Black Ascoli, just struggling at the back. But Maycox, Jody, is in the lead from one lip in second. Carmen is third. Then Ashura Posh and Time and Eternity. Bit of a gap to Cleveland Treasure and Duffcock Collider. And Fascination and Black Ascoli there, the back four as they take over the ninth. Mistake at the back by Fascination sees him drop to last, but Maycox Jody is in the lead from Time and Eternity second. They come down to the tenth, that's four from home, and these two lightweights are now fighting it out at the top. It's Maycox Jody and Time and Eternity from one lip in second. Then Carmen, they get over the third last, and Time and Eternity hits the front from Maycox Jody in second. Ashura Posh is trying to run on, so too's one lip. Duffcock Collider is coming round around the outside but it's Maycox Jody and Time and Eternity that still dispute the lead with two to jump and they're still three clear of Duffcock Collider in third one lip in fourth ashore a posh after that one trying to run on Cleveland Treasure they're coming down towards the final two then now and Time and Eternity and Maycox Jody together a better jump by Maycox Jody and Maycox Jody goes into the lead ashore a posh is running into third over the final fence they go and it's Maycox Jody in the lead furlong running it's Maycox Jody in the lead from Time and Eternity second then comes Ashura Posh, but Maycox Jody looks to have this one in the bag, and it's going to be a win for David Robertson and Maycox Jody as they race up towards the line. Maycox Jody wins it. It's close for second. Ashura Posh, Time and Eternity, Cleveland Treasure, and then all the way back to Carmen. And it may be a David Robertson 1 2. It's close for second. It certainly is a David Robertson 1 2. Maycox Jody. Takes it for David Robertson. Ashura Posh was second. Time and Eternity was third for Leon Van Rensburg. And Cleveland Treasure was fourth for Vinnie Gerard Duffcock Collider. 
was fifth for Joshua Sutherland and talking about the whites in that race that wasn't that wasn't a, that wasn't a handicap race I don't think I was trying to have a look and see if it was it wasn't it was a, obviously the one who's got extra weight there must have had a penalty 